just uh, yes um, many of you might relate and many have questions related to entrepreneurship and what is all about and wasting any more time uh, let's uh, dive right into it now i would request that to please take over thank you mejbin hello and good afternoon everyone i am siddharth member of communication department of e cell so i am going to give some instructions for registering in eureka junior and first i will bring a glimpse about eureka junior eureka junior is a competition conducted by iit bombay where you can showcase your talent and learn more about entrepreneurship it will help you to find your solution in the most creative ways if you guys have any ideas for <clears throat> sorry if you guys have any ideas for your business plan then you can register yourself in eureka junior when you can uh, when you open the link you will find the button for register after after clicking on that a tab will open that you will find three options as you guys uh, are student so click on register as a student then after clicking the option you have to fill the details according up uh, accordingly after the event we will provide a feedback form in which you have you will find a registration link for eureka junior if you want to register then you have to fill the form if you guys are facing any difficulties then scroll down you will find guidelines and rules regarding the competition and if you have other queries then at the end of website you will find contact details that you can solve the for your queries now further will be continue, continued by sara so over to you thank you thank you siddharth good afternoon one and all i am sara kriyaru the assistant head of the communications department i would like to welcome all of you on behalf of the esel a warm welcome to our faculty members professor rubina professor anupama professor anuja and our principal dr vijayda shetty a warm welcome to prabhakar sir and to our dear participants last but not the least i would like to welcome our speaker for today ms prajakta shah joshi thank you for joining us today this webinar is organized by the esel for the for students to learn more about entrepreneurship many of you might wonder what entrepreneurship and is and what it is all about so let's dive right into it now i would like to introduce the speaker for today ms prajakta joshi she is the founder of and ceo of two startups pune women solo travelers and t connect home and stay she is currently pursuing phd in behavioral finance and has completed bcom bma finance she had, she started her first entrepreneurial journey when she was 16 years old by providing beauty treatment services and managed her education fee till her graduation post mba she helped her, she helped the family business in travel Nandini travels with unique marketing techniques and daily operations like visa, passport, tour operations till 1999. She uses experience to create her current startup, Pune Women Solo Traveler Travelers. She started her second startup, Praj Publicity, which is an advertisement agency in 1999. In 2002, she re relocated to Pune to pursue her co corporate career. to gain wider exposure and she worked with many corporate organizations now with the permissions of the dignitaries i would request ms prajakta ma'am to please start the session yeah thank you for the brief introduction uh i'm happy to interact with the young minds actually uh i'm an entrepreneurship educator for last 7 uh, 8 years and uh, uh i have realized that you know when i work with mba students so these kids are like 23 24 mm -hmm. year old and entrepreneurship is all about mindset and the attitude so uh, after certain age that mindset and attitude is a little difficult to mold actually but when it comes to younger minds uh, i think teachers uh, they have the liberty to uh, you know ignite their minds with different abilities so i think uh, right time to learn entrepreneurship is your age and it is not uh, all about the business all the times it is all about other skills that are required 
okay when you work with corporates uh, for that job you need to do uh, certain things right so maybe skilled there are some skills that you have to acquire uh, with that you have to work on your soft skills uh, like that in entrepreneurship uh, along with the soft skills it is more about your uh, your psychology your mindset and your attitude because uh, i think business is all about 70% attitude and the uh, mindset and just 30% Uh, of the skill and uh, and other things because uh, the beauty of entrepreneurship is actually you can hire any kind of skills that you have that you want in your business it is not necessary that you should have that skill am i right yeah so yes, uh, i think yeah so i think let me let me start uh, the with that note let me start the session now uh, let me share the screen with you can you see my screen no ma'am can you see my screen no 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 okay can you see my screen now yes yes okay great okay so uh, today what uh, we are going to learn in this particular session so first is uh, how to generate business ideas and how to validate those okay these are two things okay so if i ask you to read this okay how many of you can read this just say yes or no in your chat box type yes or no can you read this word type yes or no i need to see lot of either yes or no it is okay if you can cannot read this okay no no ma'am no no okay mhm mm so anybody with yes i'm just waiting for yes no 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 ma'am no okay okay so if i tell you that this word is this can you read it now can you read this word yes or no how this magic happened how all no converted into yes what is the magic because you know this language right you have learned this language since your childhood right yes, yes or no correct so currently if i am talking about real time entrepreneur this is, this looks just like this word to you guys because you don't know the basics of entrepreneurship okay but if i teach you this japanese language okay so your perspective will change and this word will be as easy as this word as entrepreneurship 
okay so if you want to learn any topic any skill what you need to do you need to do or you need to understand that language correct you need to understand that skill correct great yes ma'am great 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 okay so uh, let me ask you this okay now since i understand that you know the english and your english is really very good okay what is this word can you read this word yes or no just write in the chat box can you read this word in white yeah disrupt can you see the disrupt what is the meaning of disrupt according to you or is it or is it a difficult uh, word for you is it a difficult word for you no what is the no. meaning of disrupt have you come across this word before or uh, this is a difficult word for you okay no okay so can you see other words which are there on ppt reinvent yes yeah innovation improvement motivate rethink diverging right so do you know all these words or some of them do you know the technology word technology or do you know transform reinvent innovation solution correct so the meaning of disrupt is all about the combination of this word that means what whatever we were doing previously we are trying to do this in a different way okay for example when you were kids like 2 year old or a 3 year old how many of you remember that if you want to commute within the city okay how you were commuting that time if you want to go by auto or a public transport or if you want to book the auto okay how you were doing that before you must be going to the auto stand right and must be calling that auto wala and he will throw all the tantrums that i will not come here i will not come there right do you remember all such incidences in your life yes or no just type yes or no in the chat box yes ma'am yeah right so how many correct and now and now how you are doing if you want to book the auto or if you want to book the cab how do you do that how do you book the cab by ola ola correct or uber and how do you do that it is by just app. by yes. a app by app you yeah? by using the app correct so that ola app is nothing but the disrupt okay disrupt technology that means the people used to do certain things in a different way now they are using technology and doing the same thing and that is the business idea such kind of business idea are solving people's problem okay this auto wala was the very tiny problem for all of us right but that was the pain correct so somebody has thought that how can i solve this particular problem for people okay and this guy must be 
knowing some technology through which he thought that I can solve this problem. And this solution has converted into business solution. So this kind of businesses are disrupt businesses. Okay. So all of us, if we want to enter into entrepreneurship, we need to observe what kind of problems people are facing and how can you solve people's problem? Okay. So that will give you the disrupt business idea. Okay. Where the people will change their behavior. With Ola and Uber, we have few other examples. Facebook. How many of you remember when you were kids, like three, four year old, how you were socializing with people? You were going to the friend's house, right? Yeah? Yes. Or maybe in, within society, you will go to the home or maybe you will have a common meeting point with your friends in the society's ground or maybe nearby uh, a landmark where all the, all the friends will gather. And now because of the Facebook, how we are interacting with society, we are interacting with them virtually. Correct? We can share all our life's important events there so that people will understand what we are doing. Okay? So this is a virtual platform for the content. How many of you have used Airbnb? Can you share your experience in the chat? Yes, no? Okay. But if you have started, you know, traveling, uh, so Airbnb is the platform where uh, uh, like, you know, any person, if you have some property, and if you want to use that property for other people, like hotel, okay, you can host the property over there. Uh, if you want to stay in some kind of homestays, you can actually go on Airbnb app and book it. Just like Uber. In Uber, we get the taxis. Okay. In Airbnb, we get the vacation homes or homes to stay in different. If you want to travel to different city, for example. Okay. And like for if you want to just go to Aipur for two, three days. And if you want to explore. Okay, and you want to stay in home, in home, not in the hotel. Okay, so that kind of stay is possible only through Airbnb. So this is also a disrupt technology and a disrupt startup. Okay, so this is all about businesses and entrepreneurship and a startup. Okay, so if you feel that even I want to be a a part of such kind of startups, right? So you can start thinking about your business idea from day one, maybe from today. And I will help you how to generate the ideas. Okay, let us watch this video. If there is no connectivity at my end, we will just skip this. I think I have. Can you see this? What about audio? Is it audible? Yes or no? No. I hope it is audible now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Life without a dream. And what good is a dream if you don't pursue it? 
If your dream is to start something on your own, something that can change the world, your world, then you could, or rather you should, explore entrepreneurship. The foundational and advanced courses in entrepreneurship prepare you for just this. These courses help you to think and behave like an entrepreneur. Learn the necessary concepts, tools, skills required to set up a venture. Give you some real world exposure through masterclasses from experts and some day trips where you get to interact with upcoming startup entrepreneurs and watch them in action. And last but not least, get your hands dirty. Form a team and actually build a practice venture as you progress through the course. Who knows, this venture may have the potential to become a real venture. Building a venture or a business is not easy. You are bound to encounter some risks, such as product or solution risks. For example, you might go down a path and build something that no one wants to buy. It happens all the time. How can you avoid that? The logical answer is to test what you build with your customers and learn from it, right? In fact, there are many aspects to a business and they all have to work together to help you make money. Now, imagine a single simple tool or format that brings together all aspects of your business like customer, cost, revenues, and helps you visualize how you will make money. This is called the business model. You will use your business model to build, measure, test, and learn all critical aspects of the venture, even while you are building your venture. And this is what is called the lean approach. And the simple one page format that you will use to capture your business model is called the lean canvas. Both the foundational and advanced courses are anchored around the lean canvas and the lean approach to entrepreneurship. The foundational course will help you discover what makes you tick, your entrepreneurial style, strengths, and resources using effectuation principles and the Wadwani 5M model. Here, you will learn all about opportunity discovery, identifying the problem, and discovering your customers. Once done, you will move to the validation process by creating and testing a solution demo and following it up with an MVP and validating it with customers. Along the way, you will cover several other important entrepreneurial milestones, like identifying costs, revenues, and funding sources, building a team, learning marketing and sales techniques. So of course, advanced in the advanced course, course things get a little guys, more intense. Definitely, if the uh, basics, we all should know. And today we are going to cover exactly that. Okay, so we are going to cover the uh, basics, how to generate the business idea by design thinking okay so let me ask you one question what do you think what is the appropriate age to start a business okay any hypothetical number you just type it in the chat box Eighteen. okay 18 okay Any other number you want to just mention? Twenty. Eighteen plus. Okay. So I think I will answer this question from my side at the end of the session. Okay, just park this question for me for the end of the session. Let us do that. Before that, let us understand if you want to build a robust business idea, you need to understand the process of design thinking. Okay, how to think about the idea. Correct. So uh, how many of you already have a business idea in your mind? Just say yes or no. 87. Uttam has some business idea. Daksh has no idea. Okay, so let me ask you some little different question. How many of you uh, think about business ideas, whether you want to execute that at the age of 18 or 87, that doesn't matter. 
but how many of you keep thinking about a business idea yes or no okay yes 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 okay so i think a lot of people are are uh, thinking about some unique business idea and that's the reason today uh, you who are attending this session am i right correct so let us deep dive into this process and understand how to structureize our thinking process okay whatever you are thinking every day that is very good that spirit is important however uh, like for example if you wear a normal dress uh, which can be bought from uh, maybe some mall okay and if you wear that what happened when you go to uh, any uh, public places you may see one or two people wearing the same dress it happens many times right has it happened with you many previous yes yes, yes. but but if you go to some uh, designer to wear a particular dress what happened it is a unique dress right nobody can copy that because it is made specially for you for your personality right whatever madhuri dikshit is wearing whatever uh, uh, the actor actresses are you know wearing you cannot see the same dress uh, because that is designed by some specialist some expert okay so similarly in our thinking process also if you want to think differently you have to develop the design thinking okay that is specially designed for you not available you know uh, on the internet maybe okay it should be your original thinking but that original thinking should be in a very structured way should be channelized how to do that i am going to teach you today okay so the first part of design thinking is empathize so whatever is your business idea or whatever you are observing in the society you try to understand people okay or you try to understand people's problem okay so next time maybe whenever you are grandparents are coming to you that you know uh, i cannot operate the mobile or i cannot operate the internet or i cannot book the ola cab okay so this is what this is the problem statement that you have so how we are going to solve this problem statement you have to think like that okay so with a, whenever you will see the problem around you you just think that the opportunity is lying in that problem if you have solution to that problem that means the opportunity is lying in that business okay so this is the first step other step is to define okay so you have to figure out what is the problem and then if you have the solution then you have to test your solution okay and then you have to generate the idea after defining first you have to generate the idea of the problem of the solution okay and after that you have to create the prototype prototype means what it is a sample product which can be used with few people okay and then you can test the market and then you can scale so let us understand this design thinking concept in a way more uh, you know de more, in more detail so i'll just play this video for you you just think and channelize your business ideas by design by using design thinking process okay so i'm just running this for you guys hello i hope it is audible yes there hope that you're all excited we will learn many new things about design thinking and you will hear some interesting stories too But before that, 
let me ask you a question. You know there is this word empathy? Do you know what it means? I'm sure you do. But let me just explain it so that all of us understand it in the same way. Empathy means understanding a person and understanding the person's pains and problems. Let me give you an example. Suppose you're in a bus and you are seated comfortably. An elderly lady gets into the bus from a stop and comes and stands near you. In all probability, you will get up and offer her your seat. By doing so, you are displaying empathy. You understand that it is difficult for the lady to stand. Stand her pain over. Are you wondering what empathy has to do with design thinking? Well, it is the main principle of design thinking. The other principles are observation and user-centeredness. Wait, wait. Are you thinking, oh my God, how boring? Again, some more principles. Don't write me off yet, please. I will not bore you with a lecture on these principles. You know what I will do? I will tell you some stories. So here is the first story. It is the year 2001 and the month is October. A new product is launched and the world is taken by surprise. The product is something that fits into your pocket and is set to change the way people store and play music. Can you guess what this product could be? I'm sure you would have guessed. Yes, it is the iPod. It has 50 GB of storage and was the size of the tape that went into a Walkman. And you could download an entire CD into the gadget within 10 seconds. Why was it such a success when it was launched? It was because Apple, the company, empathized with these people who love music and wanted their music to be with them all the time, wherever they go. This understanding of people's need is empathy. And when you design a product, keeping these very needs in mind, the product you create will definitely be user-centric. And that is the second principle of design thinking. User-centric means something that is centered around the user. And here is the second story. It was a rainy day in Bangalore. Ratan Tata, you know the head of the Tata group? He was traveling in his car when suddenly a scooter turned in front of his car and lost control. A family of four who were on the scooter fell on the pavement. Nobody got hurt, but this incident led Ratan Tata to think of making road travel safer for Indian families. And this is how the idea for the nano car was born. So guys, can you all identify the principle of design thinking in this story? Yes, empathy, user centeredness. And here is the third principle now. Observation. These very principles brought to the Indian roads a small car called nano that was affordable for the scooter owning family. I hope you enjoyed these stories and here's one last story and for this story let us travel to Kenya in Africa because the story is set there. This is the story of Richard Turere. He was an 11 year old boy then and at this young age he was responsible for taking care of his family's cattle. But very often lions from the neighboring grasslands would attack the cattle. One day, a small observation led him to design a solution for this problem. He had observed that lions were afraid of approaching the farm when someone was carrying a flashlight, you know, a torch. He used this observation to design a light. The light was wired to an old car battery, which in turn was powered by a solar panel. This light flickered on and off 
and tricked the lions into believing that someone was moving around with a flashlight. So see, what a simple thing such an observation can do. It can spark creativity and innovation in a young boy. So here is the lesson for us. Let's agree to empathize and observe at all times, wherever we are. Who knows, we too may come up with a solution to some problem someday. And with that, I wind up for today. So what do you think? Can you make a habit of design thinking? Right? So try to uh, observe people, okay? Try to uh, solve their problems, identify <coughs> their pain areas, right? How many of you are doing that right now? Some of them must be doing it, right? So basically, you have to uh, not sympathy, it is empathy. So sympathy is uh, pitying on someone, but empathy is try to understand their pain. You have to go in their shoes and understand how they are feeling. Okay. So understanding that feeling is important in business. So that is design thinking. Okay. Any question on this? Just feel free to ask any question. Any question on this? Okay, so let's move on and understand how we can generate the business ideas. Okay, now today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to share the secret of how to generate a business idea. So you must be thinking about lot of lot of ideas, but not ide not all ideas are business ideas. For business ideas, you need to understand whether this idea is treated as a commercially viable activity. Okay. If it is a commercially viable activity means what? Commercially viable business activity means what? That means that idea should generate the revenue for you. That means the willingness to pay for the customer is important, okay? So you have to understand whether people are willing to pay for your business idea. So let us understand how to generate such kind of ideas, okay? How many of you are interested in knowing that? Type yes or no. I'm just sharing the secret formula with you. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes. Great, great. Great. Very enthusiastic students. I like it. Okay, so let us understand how to generate the business idea. We can't manage work like this. That's why I use Monday.com. My team uses it to manage projects, say, how to ideate and come up with great ideas and convert them into winning companies. Hi, I'm Amara. I love to draw, paint, sketch, design, anything to do with creativity, art, design, usability. And I love good fashion and style. Hi, I'm Aaron. I love robotics and science and technology and everything related to it. Hi, I'm Jamal. I love to make things happen. I can put two and two together and make it into five, maybe 10. An idea can change your life. An idea can disrupt an entire industry. Does it seem true? Let us look at some examples. Look at Uber. It is the world's 
largest taxi company, but it owns no vehicles. Facebook is the world's most valuable media owner, and it creates no content. And Alibaba is the most valuable retailer, and it carries no inventory. Wow. Yes, wow. Each of these ideas was disruptive. It changed that business and that industry. Yes, but how did this happen? Can we do it? We need a way of thinking that can help in generating ideas. But how do you come up with ideas like this? How do you come up with another Uber, another Facebook? And not just any ideas, but business ideas from which a business opportunity can emerge and companies formed. And we have just that, a new way that will help you generate ideas. Disrupt is a new way of thinking and generating ideas. Disrupt is an acronym for various triggers you can use for generating ideas. The first trigger is derive from D. Then I is for include, S is for separate, R stands for repurpose, U means unite, P is for personalize, and last but not least, T is for transplant. So let's talk about the first trigger, derive. Derive sounds all technical and complex, but it's not. It means to base a concept on another concept by either extending the original idea or modifying it. In other words, simply take an existing product or service and derive something else from it. Igloos are built from packed snow and have been used by the indigenous people in Arctic areas as homes. In Finland, Kaksluutinen Arctic Resort got an idea to use igloos as hotel rooms with an intent to give a unique experience for its guests. Now it's glass-topped igloos are world famous as making someone or something a part of something. But in terms of ideas, it implies that you add something new to an existing business or process to add value and make it different. For many years, electric cars like Riva and Think were not able to become popular. All Tesla did was include a sporty look and a bigger battery and launched an electric car, far more expensive than existing electric cars. But it worked. The sporty look and the bigger battery made it a rage. S, separate. Separate means to remove the connection between any two or more people or things. Simply think of a product and take out something from it and develop and focus on that. Make that single feature the main idea or the hero of the new offering. Since images and videos were really popular on Facebook, Pinterest was launched, which focused only on sh images. In the same way, Snapchat became a success as a platform for sharing photos and videos. R, repurpose. Repurpose means to change something in a product or service so that it can be used for a different purpose. Use an idea in a completely new area or application. For example, Botox is a drug that was used medically to treat certain muscular conditions. But now, doctors and beauticians are using it to reduce the cosmetic appearance of wrinkles. Another example of repurpose is SlideShare. The founders wanted to make a YouTube for presentations, and so came up with the concept of SlideShare. U, unite. Unite means to combine two products to create a new product. Look at Oya. It has managed to carve a niche for itself in the highly competitive market for gaming consoles, dominated by Sony PlayStation, Microsoft Xbox, and Nintendo. Oya has incorporated the Android operating system in its micro console and has a huge appeal among casual gamers. P, personalize. If you design or produce something to meet someone's individual requirements, that is called personalizing the product. Orange County Choppers is a US company which designs and manufactures unique custom motorcycles. These are then sold both within and outside of the US and they are a well-known brand worldwide.
T is transplant. Take an idea that works in one place and introduce it in another place, which can be a country or a customer segment. Think of Air Asia. They were able to learn from the successes of Ryanair and EasyJet, both successful European low-cost airlines, and replicate their model in Southeast Asia. Now, AirAsia is among the most successful low-cost carriers in the world. In the same way, Amazon was transplanted in India as Flipkart, and Uber was transplanted as Didi Taxi in China. When using Disrupt, use it with deliberation, and keep in mind that new ideas can also come by combining some or all of these seven triggers. Does having an idea mean you can jump right into it and will it turn into something big? No, ideas are not the same as opportunities. You may have many ideas, but you should only pursue those which are opportunities. An idea is the seed of a successful product or service. Without proper care and maintenance, it won't bloom. But an opportunity is when there are favorable weather conditions, good soil, and excellent water resources to germinate the seed. Yes, I agree. Ideas are plenty, but success is when you can turn them into opportunities that can make a difference. From opportunities are born companies. How do we convert an idea into a winning company? That's not a small story. That's a journey, and that is exactly what you will learn in this program. In the next few lessons, you will learn to evaluate ideas, select one idea, and learn how to build a winning company using various tools and techniques. So welcome again to this entrepreneurship journey okay, with Wadwani so Foundation. Now, what do you think about your business ideas? Can you now think in a very structured and constructive way after looking at this video? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a activity. Okay. Where you will do the homework for this particular activity. Okay. So you will have to uh, mention one example on every business idea. Okay. So I'm just sharing, I'm sharing this link with you in a chat box. Okay, and this you can access later on and work on your business ideas or just solve it as your homework. All right. So you just copy this link and paste it somewhere on your laptop and later you can use this. Okay. Uh, at the end of the session, I'm going to give you the assignment where you will have to build your own idea bank. Okay, now you will say, I already started thinking about my business idea, but it is not the case. Okay, when you think about business ideas, you have to actually uh, think, you have to think about multiple business ideas so that you can compare with each other and then you need to understand what is the feasibility of every business idea, okay? So today at the end of the session, I'm going to give you the assignment to build your own idea bank, okay? So let me give you that link in the chat box. So the first link is your homework, okay, where you will uh, think about some examples. And then the last link is your assignment for today. So you have to actually build your business ideas in this particular uh, Excel sheet, okay? So let us think about when you finalize your business idea, okay, how would you think about the next business processes or 
how would you think deeper into your business idea for that we use mind mapping technique have you heard about mind mapping technique in your school are no. you using mind mapping technique okay so let me tell you another secret of mind mapping technique okay where you will use this technique to think about anything not just a business idea but maybe about your uh, your study pattern or maybe about uh, your life whatever your goals you want to achieve in life with whatever you want to think you can use mind mapping technique for your idea okay so let me share this video with you and it will help you to build a mind mapping technique for your business idea have you have you seen something like this or like this these are mind maps a mind map connects information around a central subject or topic with images or pictures or just text i always like to think of it like a tree although some might disagree with me because mind map has far more of a radial structure in any case in a mind map your main idea is always at the center let's say your main idea is football then the branches or subtopics or related ideas could be things like uh, football clubs famous footballers and football championships each branch or subtopic can be further split into more sub branches or subtopics and you can go on and on and on okay let me stop you must be thinking why are we talking about mind mapping well because it is a good technique to generate ideas flesh them out and bring them to life in a visual form it can take your ideas beyond a simple list and help you become more creative in generating ideas fleshing out ideas and seeing the relationship between the ideas and so on In fact, if you are having a brainstorming session with a team for ideation, it is best to use a mind map to capture everyone's ideas. Not that you can use mind mapping only for ideas. It is widely used for setting goals, solving problems, revisiting study lessons, making weekly plans and so on. So, let us look at how we can use a mind map for generating ideas for opening, let's say a restaurant. So what I'm going to do is to place the idea in the very center. So start a restaurant appears here. Next is what decisions do I need to make for starting a restaurant? I will place them as main branches around the central idea. Then I will go one level deeper into each branch. Let's start with cuisine. What cuisine will my new restaurant serve i love indian food but i also love chinese food a lot and it's quite popular i do see that more and more people are trying out lebanese food nowadays and yes continental food is also uh, quite much the rage especially talking about french and the italian food as you can see this on the screen i have put the, all of that down we can do more let's look at the level of service should it be a full service restaurant or a casual diner uh, it can also be a fast food restaurant or it can be a takeaway have i considered all these aspects am i all set to start my restaurant maybe no that is the thing the magic of mind mapping is that it doesn't let me forget anything there are other things to consider for example location should it be located in a mall or should i start a home based food delivery chain uh, written okay so on a piece of paper or on a diary i would advise you to keep one diary with you 
and in one diary you just write whatever thoughts you are coming across related to only business idea okay and you just write down all these business ideas in one single diary so that when you will grow up okay and when you will revisit this diary and read that diary you will have lot of memories with you okay in that diary you can actually use mind mapping technique so that your thinking whatever is your thinking process today will expand will mature and you will reach to the level where you can think about viable business idea isn't it a good idea how many people are going to do this today tell me miss i in your chat box write yes or no i want to see lot of yes Dakshi is saying yes. Viraj is saying yes. Gayatri is saying yes. Kevin is saying yes. Mezabin is saying yes. Pratipa is saying yes. Gayatri. Farhan is saying yes. Soni is saying yes, ma'am. We will definitely do that. Sanika is saying yes. Riya is saying yes. Vaidyashree is saying yes. Prashila is saying yes. Mehzabeen is saying yes. Ogus is saying yes. Lot of yeses. So I am very happy. Okay. So students are still joining us. So today, what we have learned. we have learned idea generation process where we can actually think about addition of something deduction of something or if you are uh, you are traveling with your friends or with your family you are going out of india and you have seen somewhere that something is unique and which is not in our country so that can become your business idea it is not necessary that your business idea is very new should be very unique and you should develop a unique product all the time if you don't have that product or services in your area in your city in your country definitely you can start one okay how many of you have gone out of india with your parents type yes or no how many of you have traveled out of india with your parents just type yes or no okay 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 so uh, now we are coming to the part where i told you that you know i am going to
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the session and you have learned new things today. Yes, ma'am. Yes or no? Yeah. So, so okay. So I was talking about the real age. You should start a business, right? You want to know what should be the real age? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. So entrepreneurship is just a mindset. That is what I have told you in the morning, in the beginning, right? So there is no age criteria. There should not be, you should not think that when I turn major, that means 18 and then I can start the business. Okay. Of course, the child labors are not allowed, but the child which use brain is allowed, right? So today I'm going to introduce you the person who has started his entrepreneurship journey, okay, at the age of nine or 10. So he is in fifth standard. So today we have with us Viraj. Viraj, are you there? Yes. Yes, so I will just introduce briefly about Viraj. So Viraj is in fifth standard. And he's from SPM Public School, Pune. And Viraj is a YouTuber and a social media influencer. He's a storyteller. He's multilinguistic and multi-talented. Viraj Kundalik is having the, his YouTube channels named Viraj Bhaucha Dhamal Goshti, Siddhi Vinayak Boys, and Technical Viruji. His passion is content creation, video editing, and vlogs. Over to you, Viraj. Uh, yes, uh, uh, if you are thinking how to uh, start your own channel or some, uh, and you are thinking uh, at this age, why can't we start our channel? So, um, we can start our channel by simple things, such as singing or doing such um, crafting. So, uh, it can give a startup to our channel. And um, I made our channel as a prototype. So uh, when uh, when I was uh, just um, eight years old, um, for time pass, I started my, um, my camera and um, sang a song. Uh, and I uploaded that on YouTube. So it was um, got famous. So um, when that got famous, my mom said me, why don't you start to um, storytelling? So uh, I love that idea and I um, do storytelling. So I have less subscribers, 80 all, but um, I um, love to entertain others. So Viraj, how do you get your first client? Yes, uh, one day I was, me and my mom was going to Mahabharishwar with uh, PWST and when my mom tell that I do YouTuber and I love editing and um, all, uh, they told me then, uh, can you edit our vlogs or um, can you make our YouTube channel and make it famous? So, I got my first PWST and... Um, and I and that was a business. So now what do you think, guys? Now I think the students are from eight and nine standard. You have already wasted four or five important years of your life to start the entrepreneurship, right? So you can start your business idea as soon as possible. Correct? Yes or no? Yes. How many people are thinking that you are late? Just type yes or no. So you can start anything because we are we are into different environment. We are into social media era. Right? So you can start anytime with your passion. The passion is important. If you have passion, definitely you can convert your passion into business idea. Yes, Daksh, you have some question? No, miss, I wanted to tell something. Yes, please share. 
that I also edit some videos. Wow, that's great. Do you have YouTube channel? Yes, miss. Now only I started. That's great. Which kind of YouTube you have? Miss, no, I have not thought, but I am means uh, making one video and then I will upload. Wow, that's great. So now, uh, how many of you are thinking that you have to start the business as soon as possible? And whatever you have in your hand. So you have the social media, internet, right? So you have to use that effectively. Uh, I have pasted my channel's link in description. Do subscribe. <laughs> See, he is not missing any opportunity to promote his business. So this is what about, all about attitude and the mindset, correct? <laughs> Great. So I have shared the link with you where you can actually uh, complete your idea bank. And I would like to conduct one more session on idea validation, but it is not possible to complete that within one hour. It needs another one, one hour to complete idea validation process. So if you are interested, let us know and I will definitely conduct idea validation process for you. Okay, so this is it from my side for today. I'm open to the questions now. So do you have any questions? Let me know. You can type your questions in the chat box and I would be happy to answer that. Any questions? Ma'am, can we have your mobile number? Okay, so I think, yeah, I'll share the mobile number with you. Also, I have Facebook page called Pune Women Solo Travelers. This is exclusively for women. So your mom, your sister. Okay, so the question is, if I want to start a social business, what is the basic thing I need to do? So I think, uh, yeah, can you uh, tell me what is, what is your business? What is your idea about social business? So the social business is something different. Okay. Social business is not social media business. There are two things. One is business operated from social media and other is social business is if you are solving society's problem. Okay. Not necessarily that you should make a profit out of it, but you should impact the society to solve their problems. That means the waste management, okay? So if you have any solution on waste management, it will solve society's problem. Yes, okay. So definitely, if you have any idea regarding helping society, definitely there are a lot of people who can help you to build your businesses, okay? So, uh, for that, you have to start with your own network, with your own people. Once you do that, once you're comfortable, you can expand this into more scalable business. And definitely it is, even if it is an NGO or not-for-profit organization, this particular solving society's problem can become a big business. Okay, so all the best to you. <coughs> And don't forget to subscribe Viraj Kundlet on YouTube channel. Thank you, Viraj. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, at so we need to some open any business. Uh, how can we uh, uh, make some blueprint about that? Yeah. So that is called as prototype. 
okay so yeah. you have to Which build a sample to... you have to build a sample so it all depends on your business idea once you validate your business idea then the next process is how to build the prototype for example if you think that uh, i want to build some application which can solve people's problems so how to yeah. build the prototype for the application okay so these application can be built in various platform like marvel m a r v e l okay so this is a platform where you can build a mock application or there is another platform called origami which is hosted by facebook so there you can go and design your application it is a mock the investment is not involved but you can actually show to your stakeholder that how your application will look how it will function how it will solve the problem so and so on and so forth so this is the advanced stage but before that you need to understand how to generate the idea once you generate the idea then how to validate those idea and then after that you will understand how to create the prototypes okay yeah अच्छा मैम अगर हमने कोई आइडिया जनरेट किया तो उसका ब्लूप्रिंट मतलब उसे कैसे एडवर्टाइज या मार्केट में डालना है वो प्लान कैसे बनाना होता है ओके सो आई विल टेल यू माय एग्जांपल व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड माय बिजनेस आइडिया पुणे विमेन सोलो ट्रैवलर व्हिच सपोर्ट्स विमेन ट्रैवलिंग आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ स्मॉल फेसबुक ग्रुप ओके क्लोज ग्रुप थ्रू व्हिच आई प्रमोटेड माय आइडिया ओके सो इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू शुड बिल्ड डायरेक्टली एप्लीकेशन to test the market you can use social media which is freely available okay through them you can reach out to your customer and you try to sell your product once you are confident that this is a feasible uh, business idea and people are willing to pay for your services then you can expand it further okay thank you ma'am any other Anyone question over to you anuja ma'am yeah uh, yes it was a really brainstorming session and ma'am thank you so much for coming and uh, on our invitation and viraj uh, thank you so much for coming uh, and guiding our young entrepreneurs in this session uh, i will uh, request mezabeen to uh, formally give word of thanks uh, thank you everybody for joining this session yeah i think somebody has the question for viraj that uh, uh, vijay uh, viraj now he is doing his running out of it definitely uh, he got the assignment uh, from pwst and now uh he will get uh, paid for you know video editing and, and the stuff like at least startup will prefer people like uh, students because they you can you actually work for very less as compared to other people other grown up people in the industry so if they want to save their cost uh, then definitely uh, you know businesses will come and they will prefer uh, people like you who would like to explore viraj over to you for this if you want to answer this question um yes um, it is a setting in youtube that um, if we pass our 1 uh, lakh subscribers that uh, youtube will start giving um, money for uh, to us for making videos and um, editing that and that can uh, give youtube that uh, community that gives no so um, when uh, viewers come to our channel um, youtube can give us money are those young entrepreneurs like viraj are very creative and they explore everything all the ends somewhere when the creation our imagination stops they are out of those boundaries so uh, that also attracts the uh, clients here am i right yeah. uh, rajak uh, ma'am yes yeah. correct 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 because see i got impressed when i met him i said i have to i have to you know support and i have to you know help him and i have to motivate him so most of the times 
real businesses will you know will not think twice before giving you an uh, you know assignment they definitely motivate you so this is the advantage that you have to get when you are studying because it is a student startup and you have to mention that i am a student startup and i am just practicing the venture it's not a final version of the venture okay see lata mangeshkar or sachin tendulkar so how many of you like sachin tendulkar's cricket lot of us because he has achieved the excellence in his performance but excellence cannot be achieved by just playing once in a blue moon it needs practice right so whatever excellence that you want to achieve you need practice for that so since you know you are child if you are practicing the venture when you will grow up and when you really want to perform that time you will actually get the advantage of your practice venture because you are you have learned lot of things which cannot be taught in the classroom right so this teaching is important from the practice venture and this is what viraj is doing okay more than making money your target in practice venture is learning that learning is more important because that learning will not have happen even if you pay 1 lakh rupees as a fee okay so you can say that this is a priceless learning that you can get by practicing the venture got it absolutely correct ma'am thank you so much for guiding and giving us insights about uh, our students and viraj is really a um, inspirational and motivational uh, uh, businessman here today so uh, i wholeheartedly thank viraj and uh, giving the motivation to my young entrepreneurs here uh, mezavin all to you please um, give vote of thanks yes ma'am uh, ma'am i would request ryan to please give the vote of thanks and after that please wait students don't leave Yes, thank you, Mejavin. I would like I would like to express my gratitude to all esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success, and to our honourable speaker, Miss Pratapta Joshi, to take out time from her busy schedule to grace this event. I would also thank our principal, Vijayta Shetty, for supporting us. Thank you, Anupama Bali, ma'am, Anuja, ma'am, and Nubina, ma'am. and management of our college for guiding us and thank you all ecel members who have taken efforts to make this webinar successful and most hearty thanks to the students for attending attending this webinar.